Hi friends, it's me, Cookie, and today I have two different experiments to do with you. So let's go. This experiment is called the burning candle experiment. Now we already have our candle on our plate and we are ready to begin. We're gonna add water to our plate. Then we're going to add a couple of drops of food coloring. We picked blue so you guys could see it when it happens. Mix it in. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Yeah. All right. Now that it's mixed in, we're going to begin. Now that we have our candle lit, and make sure, because it is a fire, that you're careful and you get an adult to help. But we're going to take our bottle and we're going to put it over the candle very gently so it doesn't fall. Let's see what happens. Oh. Whoa, look at that. How cool is that? Super. <laughs> that is really awesome. It's just sucking up all of the water. That is because the water rises in the candle because of the air pressure. As the air pressure inside expanded by the heat, when the candle goes out, it's colder. So the cold air contracts, leaving a space. The inside has less pressure and the outside has more pressure. So it pushes the water inside until the pressure on the inside and on the outside are the same. I know, it's a lot of experiment talk, but it really is a cool thing. It's fun, look at it. Are you guys having a great time so far? Wasn't that so exciting? Well, I've got one more fun experiment for you. Let's go. This experiment is called the balloon experiment. And for this experiment, I had to use a funnel a few times. It comes really in handy. I had to use it to put uh, distilled vinegar into this bottle. And then I had to use it again to fill this balloon up with baking soda. Now we are going to put the balloon on top of here and pour it in and we're gonna see the reaction. Let's do it. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do is take the top of the balloon up filled with the baking soda. You're gonna put it over the top and then, ah, there's a hole in the balloon. <laughs> that was so cool, but it blew up. I think it would probably, there we go. I'll... <laughs> That was so cool. <laughs> Can we do that again? Since the last experiment, we've cleaned up and we are ready to try it again. I think it had a little too much, so we took a little out. But thankfully, safety glasses were on and everything went okay. So, we're going to try it one more time. Here we go. Vinegar in the bottle. Baking soda in the balloon. Let's see. And hopefully there isn't a hole in the balloon this time. <laughs> but we never know until it begins. Are you ready? Yeah. You want to lift it this time? Yeah. All right. Go ahead. There we go. Ah, I know. I'm like, ah. There it goes. Look at That's what it's supposed to do. This is exactly what was supposed to happen last time. How awesome is that? <laughs> Instead of blowing up and shooting stuff at us, <laughs> this was what was supposed to happen. The balloon was supposed to blow up. This is so cool, right? Yeah. And now it's starting to kind of deflate again. But yeah, this is a really fun experiment. Sometimes experiments don't go the way we want, but you know what? They're still a lot of fun. Well, friends, that was a super exciting day. We had so much fun with our experiments. And like I said, sometimes things can go wrong, but for the most part, it's always a great time. Now remember, if you like videos like this, keep coming back for more and more fun with me, your friend Cookie. That's K-O-O-K-I-E, and that would be me. And don't forget, if you like videos like this, subscribe for more and more fun. And don't forget, 
to hit like.